Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I play with prisons in The Sims 4. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel as well as my personal channel Life With Wit to follow my actual life. But for now, let's get into this tutorial. The first thing you'll need to do is download a prison. I'm using the prison from Black Life Sims. You can go on Google and just type in Black Life Sims State Prison and it'll pop up. Once you have that prison downloaded, you will also need to have the For Rent Pack, the Get Together Pack, the mods I'm going to use are MC Command Center and SN Bank, as well as RVSN, the full control camera for the mugshots. I'm also going to be using Andrew's Pose Player and the Teleport Any Sims. The sim I'm going to be using today is Scully from Snowfall. You can check out my Patreon if you want to download his projects. If you ever watch Snowfall, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Scully is one of the main characters in A Drug Dealer, so I'm going to be sending him to jail today. So the next thing I'm going to do is go into Manage Worlds so I can show you where I place my prison. If you chose to download the prison from Black Life Sims, it will require to be placed on a 50 by 50 lot. I'm using the one in Willow Creek. So let's jump into build by mode so we can change it to a residential lot and make some changes. So I did have to make some changes to the lot. I believe there was a big shell in the background to kind of make it look like a real prison but I did delete that shell to put more functional objects there and I'll show you in a second. I did decide to fence off the entire area of the basketball court so when I did have um, visitation or any guests came they weren't in the basketball court playing basketball or using the exercise equipment or anything like that. Over here is my greenhouse. Of course, my greenhouse is full of weed plants because I have a lot of drug dealers in jail and this is the perfect time for me to work on their weed dealing skill and their gardening skill. So when they're released back to society, they're, you know, ready to level up and they, you know, have nothing else to do but work on their skills in jail. So I made sure I put as much stuff there to work on hobbies and anything that I want to kind of focus on for that particular sim. Over here I have some workbenches, woodworking benches, and over here is some easels. Over here there's a bunch of deco sims, which makes it feel so realistic. I really do love the detail they put into this build. I added some exercise equipment and I did add a radio, but it keeps breaking because of the rain, so I'm just going to delete that. Now over here, I did make a lot of changes. Um, I built a little apartment slash office for the warden at the top and then at the bottom. This is where your visitations will be held. Um, I have a little tripod set up for when you have visitors to come in. You can take some pictures with them. I have some televisions, and, you know, just a little area for your guests to come to sit and talk to you. I'm going to create some lawyers so if you want to meet with your lawyer they can come over and sit over there and talk to you as well and then of course to the right i built a little bedroom to act as a conjugal for those conjugal visits so let's go into the basement this is where all of the cell blocks are we're going to be assigning them to their own um, apartment so let's start doing that the first thing you're going to do i already did it but you're going to change the residential type to a residential rental as long as you have the for rent pack. If you decide to do it the way I did it by making an apartment slash office, just be sure to keep the office as a shared space. So now let's go in the basement and start assigning the cell blocks to create apartment units. I'm going to show you a quick tour of one of the jail cells that I have. Um, this one belonged to one of my drug dealers. He has a family of five. Um, he's married with three children. He's in and out of jail just because. Um, here's a quick tour of what it looks like. Typical things I would think would be in a prison. Um, it comes with all of the furniture already. I did have to replace the bunk beds because they weren't functioning in my game. So I removed the beds and put traditional bunk beds. You can place posters on the wall. You can just have so much fun and create it the way that you want it to be. So now you want to start sectioning off 
each cell into an apartment unit. In this particular prison, I can assign up to four cell blocks to one apartment unit because I only can choose to have eight Sims within a household. So what you'll do is select four of the cells to create one apartment unit. I continue this process until all of the cell blocks are taken up by an apartment unit. As you can see, I ended up having five units. The first one belongs to the warden. The second, third, and fourth apartments can fit up to eight Sims. In the last apartment, since it's only three cells, can fit up to six Sims. Now let's go into Manage World so we can populate the prison with some pre-made inmates. I like to use Sims found off the gallery because it's just the quickest way to do it. So once you're in a gallery, just download as many inmates or prisoners that you think you'll need. Just be sure to leave enough space to move your own active Sim into that particular cell block. To add realism, I would definitely change the household names to cell block A, B, C, and D just so it's not a particular name of a sim. So now let's get back to Scully. We're gonna go into Manage Households and we're gonna transfer Scully from his household into the cell block that I want him to be in. Before you do this, just make sure you have another sim living in the household so you're not moving and selling all your furniture. That would suck. Okay, so now that we have them switched over, let's go into the prison. This is a good time to go into your gameplay settings and change the autonomy to full, just so you don't have to worry about everybody else's problems and you can just focus on your own sim. So in order for your sims to look like they're in prison, it's best to set their outfits to prison wear. If you have the get to work pack, you should definitely have a prison outfit, but there's a whole bunch of custom content out there that you can find as well. The easiest way to do this is by using MC Command Center. I'm going to click on another sim, choose MC Command Center, go to MC Dresser, select copy, and then paste that outfit. I would suggest you choose that outfit for every outfit category, just so the Sims aren't working out in regular clothes or, or changing into regular pajamas to go to sleep. I like them to stay in their inmate outfit the entire time. All right, so now it's time to get that mug shot. What I use is the RVSN camera because I don't need an actual Sim to take the picture for me. So I suggest you download that mod if you haven't already. All you have to do is position yourself in front of the camera, click the camera to take a picture, and the picture will show up in your inventory. Once you have your mugshot, it's best to place a copy of that mugshot above your cell, just so you don't get confused as to which cell is yours. Make sure you lock your doors to only allow your sim and your sim's roommate to access that particular cell just so people aren't in and out using your bathrooms and eating your food. And the last thing you have to do is assign your beds. So that's the end of part one. Be sure to check back for part two where I'll explain how to play as the warden, how to do mug shots, and give you some gameplay ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.